He kind of, I don't want you to be loud. Kay. You kind of, you kind of mouth it. Kay. Okay. Well, I can't hear. Okay. <laughs> okay. So that's okay. This is Arville Craig, and this is episode two on the behind the scenes, how I'm, what I'm doing to build my blog and brand. My daughter told me that I needed to be more funny and more silly on these things, and I don't know. So I, I invited her to bring the silliness to the show, and we will see what happens. Ariel, you want to say hello? Hi, everybody. I'm eight years old. So what is going on in the world of the brand? Ah, well, the big thing, of course, is my book, my book, my book. So I've got a book coming out May 1st is the day. If you notice the prices on the website, it's priced to share. You buy like one copy at a certain price, I will give you two additional ones, like 18 bucks. If you buy 10, I'll give you 20 or 30, something crazy. So my pricing is not to make money, it's to share. Maybe I'll make a couple bucks per book, but it's price to share if you want to understand why it's like that. I wanted to give you or share with you some lyrics, a little poetic spoken word thing I wrote as a bit of a teaser to the book. You want to help me out with it? The book stuff? Maybe. The little rap thing on the book? Little... Uh, uh, uh. No, anyway. So I'm going to share with you a little bit of the book and a little bit of a poetic spoken word-ish speech. Pretty simple thing. Uh, what are, how does it start? Here we go. In the midst of a decision between two visions of thought... The first was birthed in the church, and the second, it was caught. In the days when dreamers would dream about a future with better things, I climbed up on that bandwagon. I signed my name upon the line. I said that I would dwell among the ones who choose to, to die, die in thee. Fully divested of all that I've been blessed with, of all that I've been given, and all that I have known, and all that I have seen, and all that lies between the good and the bad and the ugly. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Stop it. Okay, so second part, I wanted to share one practical, it's gonna be, this one's going to be practical, and it's going to be a little bit of, of a philosophy or principle. And that is, I've been thinking about contrasting marketing versus sales. Marketing, to me, is the process from awareness to trust. You tweet, you blog, you put on radio shows, it brings awareness and if you're a blogger, you create content, people will eventually trust you. And when they trust you, they'll call, they'll accept your business. Sometimes online, they'll fill out your form. Awareness to trust. And that process can be short, it can be long, and it's very passive. And what I'm realizing, comparing that to sales, sales begins with a connection or some type of interaction. And it ends with money and sales is proactive sales is aggressive and sales is not always a long drawn out process passive and waiting and hoping but it's active and aggressive and you kind of choose what's going to happen and you follow up and you get an answer good or bad and i like that so if you're involved in creating a business a service and yeah you want to learn about marketing and you want to do social and you want to pay Google and pay Facebook and all these people and you don't want to do Twitter and you want to do social and Instagram and all that YouTube, all that stuff, but it's passive and it's slow and you can't really control much. It's still good, but I'm just realizing the value of sales, of being aggressive, of beginning with the interaction and people. For me, I've been connecting with people. Um, yes. I've been, I'm going to finish. Okay. So with sales, like for my book and my blog and my brand, and I'm doing interviews, I'll be speaking at a Rotary Club, so it's like, I can put all this stuff in this video out there, it's fine, but it's passive. But I also, and more importantly, I need to talk to people and get on the phone. Right now, I don't cold call, but I call people I know, and I ask them for the opportunity to speak, or to preach, or to interview, or to podcast with them. 
And to me, those results are so much quicker. So I encourage you, if you're doing something, focus on the sales more, especially if you have money to just throw out there for marketing. Focus on the sales. Sales can be quick, but marketing is good, but it's a lot slower. Hope that makes sense. Hope that's helpful. And she wants to, what, you want to uh, share your video? Yes, I do. It's the funniest video I've ever seen. This is kind of ridiculous. I wouldn't watch it if I were you, but I would go ahead and get the camera and make it closer. Yeah, do your thing. it's Ayakana. By the way, these are fake. Are you ready, Daddy? Yes. Ridiculous.